Yeah, there's a vowel shift going on in modern southern British English pronunciation. If you take the a ah sound, for example, um, open front, a ah, stand back, uh, going back a hundred years, and it's going to be a eh, stand back. Um, and so it's opened quite considerably uh, in that time. So you're comparing received pronunciation, really the old fashioned one, with the modern standard southern. Um, now, if you listen to like modern speech in London, it's actually going to be like ah, stand back. So it's actually going back now. Um, so it's gone on quite a journey, that vowel sound. It's gone from e eh to a ah to r. Ah. Um, and I'm taking multicultural London English there as a reference point for the future. You know, probably standard Southern will head in that direction. Uh, now, if you take uh, the opposite uh, corner of the mouth, uh, the U vowel, um, in modern, it's U, um, blue shoes. So it's quite central, could be a tiny bit diphthongal. Uh, if you go back, uh, you know, a hundred years, it's going to be all blue shoes. Uh, so, so uh, um, in the in that close back position, it's actually moved forward. And again, if you listen to multicultural London English, you're going to hear that it's going to be e uh, blue shoes. So it's still going forward. Um, and so, really, we're seeing the same thing happening, but in the opposite direction. So, in the uh, in the front uh, positions, it's opening and then going back. Uh, and in the um, back positions, it's closing and then going forwards. So yeah, that, that shift is happening and presumably it will continue to happen.